What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ace Noguera and in this one I'm going to teach you how you can quickly change the color of almost anything in Lightroom in a few simple steps. If this is the kind of content you guys are interested in, keep in mind that I do have a long playlist that encompasses a bunch of tutorials in Lightroom and Photoshop that I'll put up right here. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on the computer and get started. So here you can see we are in Lightroom. I got this photo that we are gonna be using as an example and changing the color of her shirt. We are currently under our develop module, as you can see up here. And to the right, we do have our editing panel. Right now I am under the uh, adjustment brush, which the keystroke for that is the letter K. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can go ahead and actually paint around the area that we want to change the color of. So in this case, it'll be the shirt. But if you see, as I'm painting over, I'm not actually able to see what I'm doing. Now, Lightroom allows you to actually check by clicking this right here, show selected mask overlay. And here you can see that I actually already painted over that. Now here's a, a really quick tip that you might not have known. If you hold Shift and O, it'll toggle through a few different colors. This is extremely useful when you are coloring or painting over certain colors. Um, as you can see here, for example, it has a red color, which obviously isn't really useful in this case because her shirt is red, so it makes it pretty hard to see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and actually change that back to green because it's a little bit more of a contrasting color and makes it just a little bit easier to see what we're doing. Another thing too that you might not have known is in this uh, particular edit or particular adjustment, what we can do is come down here and select auto mask. And what this will do is it'll help constrain our painting or our brush strokes within this particular color. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually get rid of this here. And then I'm going to come down here and enable auto mask and then you will see what I mean. You see it helps us kind of keep the constraints of the color as I make this paint stroke. So it does make it a lot easier to be a little bit more precise in a very quick way, just like so. See it kind of bled over here and onto the neck just a bit. But to go ahead and actually erase that, if we hold down um, our Alt key, you can see that our cursor changes to a minus symbol. Now, as we hold down our control, we can go ahead and paint over those particular areas and it'll erase what we already painted over. Now, I'm not gonna get too precise here. This is just quickly an example, but let's say we got all that set. I'm going to click done right now. And now we are able to change Let's go ahead and actually select that. Um, we are going to a be able to change the color of the shirt. Now, just so we can see this a little bit easier, I'm gonna hit the letter O, which is going to uh, deselect our overlay mask. As you can see here, it's no longer checked. And now we are able to change the color of what we painted here, which in this case is the shirt. I can come over here to our hue. We can go ahead and make it a green if we wanted to a pink, purple, what have you. Pretty much your color options are endless. You can adjust your saturation here to give you an even wider range of colors. So that's basically how you can go ahead and change colors in Lightroom. Now, I wanna show you in this example too, it works well with black colors, believe it or not. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come up here and select our adjustment brush and we are going to paint in here. Now, as you can see, I don't know what I'm painting once again, just because our uh, layer mask overlay is not enabled. So I'm just gonna hit O, and now we are able to see how it's doing. And because the contrasting colors are so strong, it's actually doing a really good job for us. I'm gonna come up here and then just make our uh, brush a little bit smaller. I did that simply by the keystroke of our uh, left and right brackets. It'll allow you to make the brush smaller or bigger. Now I'm going to actually hit our Alt key and erase a little bit by this chin. I'm not gonna take too much time here. This is just gonna give you another example of basically how this type of technique will affect a extremely dark color like this black. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and change the color. So here using our hue, we can actually 
slide left to right and you can see it kind of changes the color. You could make that a little bit deeper if you wanted to, just like so. That's looking pretty good. And let's say you wanted to brighten up the color a little bit. This will ultimately depend on um, the image that you're using. Sometimes it'll work well, sometimes it won't. I think that looks pretty good. We can keep it as is. And one thing to also note is we can click here, use fine adjustment, and this allows us really nice control. You can see even though I'm moving the cursor over to the left quite a lot, it's going very, very slow in terms of changing our hue. So it allows for a much finer um, tweak as opposed to basically just sliding this all over quickly. So just something to keep in mind, it's a really amazing tool and I think it just adds a lot to be able to change in your edits and get something really, really cool. Well guys, that is gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you found it useful and at least enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel continue to grow. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so as I come out with fresh new videos for you every single week. With that said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.